morning. Welcome to another exciting edition of Black Creek NZ. It's the middle of winter, the rivers are freezing cold. We went waiting again, looking for some big fish, looking for some shallow wading. Chances are we probably won't get either, but we're going to give it a nudge. There's wind, there is wind. We're expecting a big front to roll through in the next. Oh, probably about 12 hours there should be some uh, some real nasty weather rolling up it's probably going to cause us a few issues hopefully we can um, dig something out of here before it all turns too nasty the river's looking clear beautiful looking water up a little bit higher than normal but running clear good spotting conditions apart from the big gusts of wind that are coming across the top of the water with an uh, 18 foot litre today, 18 foot litre tipper combo using a size 14 tungsten bead pheasant tail with rubber legs and a size 14 unweighted on a dropper. We may have to shorten everything up a wee bit, I have the distinct feeling there will be some significant tangles today, but it wouldn't be Black Creek if we weren't tangling. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. See if we can buddy find some fish to at least film, hopefully catch, and throw something together for you guys on YouTube. Right, let's do it. Wait in time. Could be one sitting out over there. Ah uh, yes, that was bound to happen sooner or later. Good to see it's uh, not too high in the tree, only 10 foot up. Now of all the trees that I hook, I reckon with a double nymph rig I probably land about 95% of them. It's not very often a tree gets away from me. It's a, um, an art that I've perfected. I could probably almost patent it. Hopefully we can uh, get around this bloody lot without ending up in the drink. Let's see if we can get around this bit without going for a bloody great swim. Oh, swimming is not on today's program today. Come, come on. Sort it out, it. Just spotted a good fish poking around just down here. Pretty sure he hasn't seen me. He's not on the main current though, he's dropped hard in against this buddy, uh, hard in against the bank somewhere. So I'm gonna sneak up. I have to put the camera gear away because this bit here looks a bit nasty. I don't really want to go for a swim with the camera gear out. I'll poke up around the corner, see if I can get eyes on again. It was quite a good fish and it looked like he was just feeding mid water. It didn't look like he was upset or anything. He didn't bolt, he just slinked, so I'm confident that I didn't spook him. Maybe he just swam out midstream to take something. Who knows? We're gonna go have a look though. try to get in behind them in between wind gusts and put a cast up there and hopefully not get snagged on any overhanging branches. Let's 
flicked him and now it's coming down past me. Fuck it. Seen two very nice fish, spooked both of them. One ended up underneath the boulder and I've just seen the other one push upstream. Done some very cold, cold waiting. Managed to find a little bit of sun. I don't think the sun's gonna stick around for too long. So I'm gonna thaw out and have a brew and a delicious cheese and jalapeno jam sandwich, which is what us uh, upper echelon fly fishermen uh, partake in when we are conducting such activities. Sounds like a load of cock waffle, doesn't it? I'm gonna have a feed, have a hot brew, try to thaw out my bloody feet. Have a look up through this next bit. This is, this is a nice bouldery run. There's probably gonna be some fish in here. It's gonna be bloody hard to spot them. Probably gonna spook a whole heap. But, I see in the latest fishing game magazine, it says something along the lines of, if I came fishing only to catch fish, I would've given up a long time ago. Or something like that. I think that guy Zane Gray said that. Uh, if you come in fishing just to catch fish, you're probably in it for the wrong reasons. Or well, you haven't been fishing for very long. Right, cheese sandwich time. Keep an eye out if we uh, see that big bugger, we might attempt to uh, wrangle him on some nymphs. approach this one he's straight down below me I'm up above him I've got quite a good background for concealment a bit of camouflage I might go for a dry dropper with a real heavy dropper to power it down there in the dry to attract his attention maybe a big dirty old royal wolf or a stimulator or something I need to do something to grab his attention. He's probably sitting in about a meter and a half of water.
today. Can't see a buddy bean in there. Might have to put a buddy jacket on, so. Big camera sitting over there rolling. I'm going to get him behind him with a couple of nymphs, fire it up. God knows what's going to happen. He probably got about as much idea as I did at the moment. I've spooked three so far. This could be number four. If we hook up, we're down through the boulder garden. Going to be ugly. Some of that stuff's about shoulder deep. Let's give it a nudge. like it when uh when the river gods show a little bit of mercy and let a plonker like me pick up a nice fish i saw him from quite far back set up all the camera gear couple of bung casts managed to get a good drift to him and yeah into the net beaut fish beaut fish good condition put up a good scrap took me right in underneath those rocks over there i didn't think he was coming in once he went over there but the old uh, Maxima, Maxima five pound buddy held together and in, in he came. Wicked. <laughs> oh, I'm soaking bloody wet. I'm soaked through, I'm freezing cold. But I just nailed an absolute monster of a fish. Wicked. The, uh, the setup I got him on, 
was a size 14. Size 14 unweighted pheasant tail. Now I don't know if you can see there, but it's absolutely been destroyed. My trailing nymph snapped off somewhere during the fight. Man, far out. Just, just proves, you know, you, you gotta get out on the river and give yourself a chance, eh? Real hard to catch big trout when you're sitting at home on TV. Mate, I am so bloody stoked. Little bit of a little bit of a wave to get back to the wagon. That's cool. No dramas with that. Get home, get dinner on, and uh, start doing some editing, I suppose. Hey, I, I might see a fish on the way out. If I do, I'll fire the camera up. But if I don't, cheers for your subscription, subscriptions and views. I know it's been pretty bloody slow lately, but uh, you know, as buggers at work have been taking their toll. I uh, do my best to get out a bit more, keep you guys in the loop as to what's going on, and hopefully catch another few good buddy trout like that. Choice. Cheers, guys. Let's play later.